What is up? It's Sam Matler here. Now, in 2021, I was busy, I was stressed out, and I was super unorganized. And you can ask anyone I know, uh, and they'll confirm that. I never really felt on top of things, and I'd forget important tasks, especially commitments to other people. So going into 2022, I've decided that I need to revamp my productivity system entirely. So in December, I decided to do just that, revamp my entire productivity system, but it's not like I haven't tried this before. And so I needed to do it the right way and not just in a way where I'd spend a day or two setting up a bunch of stuff and then not using it or switching to another app uh, two weeks later. I'm sure you know what I mean. You've jumped around from task manager to task manager to note taking system or software to another Evernote, Notion, Rome, Obsidian, you get the idea. I wanted to avoid doing that and I wanted something that just worked. So <laughs> with all that said, uh, this year, the, the three tools that I'm using are Craft, Apple Reminders, the native uh, Apple app, and Fantastic Car, which is a calendar. So let's start with Craft, which is what I'm using for note taking, storing resources, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Craft is by far the most beautiful note taking app I've ever used. Uh, I love writing in it. I love the simplicity on it. I love the simplicity of it. And I love the powerful hidden features. Uh, the team also seems really solid. You know, I'm bullish on future development and I expect it to only get better. So my craft setup is, is pretty straightforward. There's kind of three sections. Um, sorry, there's, there's a few different sections to go over. The first is the OS, which is the operating system. This only contains two documents at the moment. It contains Sam Matler daily. Now these are other pages, other documents that I visit most days. And then I have my startup routine. Um, so every day, first thing I'll do is I'll come in here and I'll just work through this, the morning routine. I will update a few metrics in this uh, spreadsheet and check these things just make sure that i'm you know working towards my goals and i'm working towards my vision and so forth uh, i stole a lot of this from taylor welch head of training on this um, so i will link that in the description if you want to check that out the second component is the lab now this is kind of a a more advanced version of the inbox um, an inbox is where you know you'll write down tasks or ideas these are ideas that I want to develop and refine or have been developed and refined. So you'll see here that I've got, you know, master idea list, bunch of different ideas in here. I'm going to blank out a lot of this stuff, by the way, um, not because it's top secret information, but I just don't like sharing what I'm working on too much. Uh, you know, I've got YouTube master idea list, content ideas, product and business ideas, so on and so on and so on. And there's just a document called musings. Um, then I have goals and this just contains my goals for the year, goals for the month, so on and so on and so forth. Uh, and so that's kind of the top section in craft. Moving on, you'll see that I've got the para method. Tiago Forte talks about this. Uh, so projects, areas, resources, and archive. Projects is just a bunch of stuff that I'm working on. Uh, you can see that I've split this up into current, paused, and future self-explanatory and then i've got areas and so this is all the major areas of my life i will store um information ideas plans reference material all that kind of stuff in these areas and usually projects come out of these then i've got resources now this is where i'll put my book notes other information that doesn't quite relate to a certain area or whatever um that's where that goes and then archive is also self explanatory so that's craft that's how i'm using craft it's pretty self-explanatory it's a note-taking software i may do another video on you know some more intricate parts of the app if you want me to do that um i much prefer it to evernote and roam for a lot of reasons it is simple enough to not get carried away with that complex system setting up that i talked about before but it also has a bunch of powerful features that make it better uh, than things like apple notes or even evernote in my opinion so the next component of a good productivity system is task management now i've used several different task management apps 
over the past 10 years, I've used Asana, Todoist, Things, Tick Tick, Notion, ClickUp, the list goes on, you name it, I've used it. And you know what? All of them, pretty much all of them were more than enough for my needs. I run two businesses, I'm building a personal brand and I have a few other areas of my life to manage. Um, I don't have a ton of staff either. And so I don't need a complex setup. Every time I've tried creating one, whether it's a Notion or somewhere else, I just never use it. I never stick to it. it. Takes too much maintenance. And after switching from Notion to Craft, I tried doing all my task management inside Craft because I wanted to stay in one tool if I could. Um, and that doesn't work, at least for my needs. So I did a bunch of research and I found that a lot of people are starting to use Apple Reminders, um, which surprised me because... I always thought it was a super simple app and how could you manage you know, tasks and projects in any meaningful way? Anyway, I gave it a go. I set a bunch of stuff up and I fell in love with both the simplicity but also useful features and the fact that it's a Mac app or Apple software. So it integrates so well with a bunch of other stuff like Siri uh, and it basically handles all that I need. So folders and lists, as you can see here, I've got a bunch of top level folders. So um, one for each business and then I've got, you know, health, fitness, uh, house, um, travel, bunch of other things. And these will correspond to my craft. If I pull this back up, um, my craft areas, they'll correspond to these. It also has tagging, uh, which I'll get to in a moment, it has deadlines, Siri integration, nested tasks. So let's have a look at this. I've showed you the folders and lists. Um, unfortunately you can't nest lists so I can't put this list inside another but I don't really need to do that I think if you're starting to nest lists you're probably overcomplicating things so what I will do instead though is I'll create projects inside of these lists so if we go to EDM prod uh, product you'll see that there's a project in here and I've typed this in and now I've got a bunch of subtasks underneath this now, one powerful feature of Apple Reminders is the tags. I have a growing list of tags that I'll use to quickly find tasks. So I can click on delegate and I can find all the tasks that I need to delegate uh, to other people. Or maybe I click on quick task. And if there were any tasks in here, they could just be quick two minute tasks um, that I could do if I had a spare five minute gap in my schedule. Um, one of the really cool things is that you can use uh, you can create smart lists. So I can come in here, I can create a list, for example, most important work tasks, and then I can do tags, um, oh, sorry, priority, high, plus location, office, or something like that. And so this is gonna automatically filter tasks um, that fit these criteria. So you can do that with tags as well gets pretty powerful when you start to think about it. Um, I haven't created any smart lists yet. Haven't had a need to, but if I do, then that feature is gonna be nice. Now, the final app I'm using is Fantastical. This is a calendar app. It's very straightforward. I'm not gonna explain how you use a calendar app, uh, but there's a few reasons I chose Fantastical over Apple Calendar. The first is that it has a native integration with Apple Reminders, as you can see here. Um, you know, I've got a bunch of tasks here and these are pulled in from Apple Reminders. So it is nice to just be able to look at one, you know, central dashboard, which is the calendar and see what I've got on for the day, both in terms of events and tasks. Uh, so the, the other thing I've noticed is that multi-calendar integration works way better with this um, than an Apple Calendar. So you're just able to pull in a lot of different calendars from different email addresses and a bunch of other things. And I've just found that it works a little bit better. Always found Apple Calendar, hit or miss. And the final thing is I just prefer the UI. I like the weather. Um, I like the uh, event though. I was gonna say uh, Fantastical has natural language processing. You can just type in something like get coffee with Sam tomorrow at 10 a.m. Uh, but you can do that in Apple Calendar now too. So it's not really an extra feature. But I just prefer it, though they are both quite similar. Apple Calendar, Google Calendar, Fantastical. I don't think there's any reason if you're using one and you've been using it for a while that you should switch to Fantastical. I just don't think it offers enough. 
Uh, but this is the one I'm using for now. If Apple Calendar added in the reminders integration, I would probably switch back. Now there is a bonus, there's a bonus app and that is Session for time tracking. So I'm a firm believer that most people are less productive than they think they are. And that includes myself. I've been using the Session app for uh, a few months now and it's helped me stay way more focused on my work. Essentially it's a Pomodoro timer app but there's a bunch of features that make it a powerful tool in my system. The first is the ability to define and categorize different types of work. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of different things. And this is great for data, time tracking. You can kind of see um, exactly where your time is going towards different projects or areas of your life. Uh, and the second feature I like is the calendar view. You can see today that my day has not been productive. I had a bunch of stuff come up. Um, obviously, I haven't tracked it. And obviously, with an app like this, I'm not tracking every minute of my day. If I'm taking a break and I'm getting lunch, I'm just not tracking that in this app. But you could if you wanted to. Um, but I will track this whenever I'm sitting down and doing focused work. And I can kind of look back on the day and see, like today, okay, what went wrong? why did I procrastinate here? You know, you get the idea. So there it is, my simple three app productivity system, Craft, Apple Reminders, Fantastical, of course, the bonus app session, which I just talked about. I would encourage you to try these apps out for yourself and see if they work and try to keep things simple. Remember, less is more. Have your productivity system actually serve you instead of distract you and require you to keep tweaking and building and, and become an overbearing burden to manage. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.